Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here once again with another video on Arrow Season 6. So Arrow is back in just under a week from now with its 14th episode after a couple of weeks break due to the Winter Olympics over in South Korea. We left Arrow with quite a big moment as Richard Dragon, or Ricardo Diaz as they're calling him in the show, took out Kate and James after we essentially had his story wrapped up. But Ricardo didn't want any loose ends hanging around, so killing off Caden was probably the right and smart move. We have a lot of exciting things to look forward to in this back half of Arrow Season 6 as we have Roy Harper showing up again in Episode 15 for a story arc of his own. And they did reveal some images from that episode or promo images, uh, which we will go over later on in this video. So be sure to stick around until then to see those. Nissa Al Ghul is showing up again in Episode 16, which should be pretty cool as well. And over the past two days or so, Stephen Amell, who obviously plays Oliver Queen, aka Green Arrow, has been posting some stuff on Twitter and other social medias that has a lot of people talking. So we do have quite a few decent things to go over in this video, but be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on all of them or just some of them, whatever you're thinking, just let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So the first thing that Steven posted that we're going to be talking about was actually this video on Instagram, so we'll watch it right now. There! What a simple, easy, and effective way to get ready to face your day. Just have a personal hairstylist and a personal makeup artist. Not that I wear a ton of makeup. Anyway, yeah, episode six. 18, directed by the formidable Ben Bray, guest starring someone that will be named in a press release way before I want them to be, and that's it. It's one of those ones that I'm very excited for. It's one of those ones that's a marathon and not a sprint. It's one of those ones where you may see a bunch of me or you may not hear from me for two weeks. Exciting times. Season six. Haircut and what have you. So in episode 18, we will be having a guest star that Steven would prefer was kept under wraps due to, well, I'm guessing it being an awesome guest star. Now, there were a lot of speculations as to who this guest star could be. Many people that weren't up to date with news on the show and stuff were guessing that it was Roy Harper, which is incorrect, obviously, because he's appearing in episode 15 and 16, and that's probably it. Another option was that it could be Sarah Lance, which even I thought could be an option due to the fact that they could tie her in with the Black, uh, Black Siren story for this season. But from a source of mine in Vancouver, which I can't name just to keep themselves secret so they can actually continue to get news, I have heard that the guest star is actually Josh Sagara, who played Adrian Chase, aka Prometheus, last season. Now, for those about to hammer their keyboards and type in the comments section, oh my god, Paige, yeah, you dummy, you blind, he died last season. God, all you do is clickbait. Those people, please calm down. We're about to go over how all of this is possible, so just calm down. Are we calm? Are you sure? Okay, let's continue. Flashpoint. Okay, I'm joking about that. Episode 18 of this season from Stephen Amell himself is meant to be an uh, Oliver-centric episode, meaning that he's in like 90 to 95% of the scenes for the episode, which is a lot, even for the main character of the show, as usually you would get like maybe 25 to 30% of the scenes in your average episode with like, say, the antagonist for the episode or just like side characters. So what it looks like we will be going through in this episode of Arrow is a big flashback episode where we will be going back to multiple points in Oliver's life, whether it is his personal life as Oliver Queen or as the Green Arrow whilst, so you'd say maybe like half the episode is present day, maybe even less, and then the rest of the episode is flashbacks. So the couple of things we're going to be going over are all from episode 18, so just keep that in mind. So Stephen posted this photo of a boat, which is actually, I'm pretty sure at least, from the Queen Mansion. So we will be going back to a time in which Oliver resided there. This could be before he went on the island, so like ages ago, or this could be after he returned from the island and be set in like seasons one or two. It is hard to really tell from just this photo. Some have speculated that this could be tied to Earth 2 and us seeing Robert Queen from over there and all of his life and stuff like that. But I don't really think that is what is going on and I don't really see how it would line up with the other stuff that Steven has posted. The other thing that Steven posted was himself in the season four suit. So yeah, season four sucked. There's no beating around the bush there. It was bad. But something important must have happened there that ties into this episode and what these flashbacks are going for. 
So yeah, let's just deal with it and hopefully it isn't as bad as those flashbacks to season four that we had last season and season five, which were, well, bad to say the least. So with flashbacks to seasons one or two or possibly both, it could be both as well as to season four, it would make sense that we would also go back to the times and events of season five where, of course, Adrian Chase was heavily involved. And this would explain Josh Sagara returning to play that role, which I'm sure everyone would be incredibly excited for. In regards to the purpose of these flashbacks and why they are happening, my best guess is that they revolve around Ricardo Diaz and his connection to past events in Star City. Not necessarily that he was like behind all of them in the mastermind or anything like that, just that he was possibly present at certain events or connected to them in some way, whether he was possibly a victim or just like a lowly gang member or something. Or Oliver was possibly involved in certain things that led to Ricardo being in the position that he is currently in. Ricardo Diaz in the Arrowverse, this is like a like short history, if you want to call it that, was a member of a crime group known as the Scorpions, who actually operated out of the Glades of Star City. So remember the Glades from season one and stuff? Yep, he operated out of there. So that could be a possible connection that we could see in this episode. However, later on, he started to operate out on his own, heading a like an illegal drug op operation, which we saw earlier on this season, as well as being just a powerful crime lord in general. And he did this by, you know, basically remaining off like the, the charts and like the radars of a lot of people by covering up his tracks pretty well. And we've already seen examples of that this season. Now, he also, according to his character description going into this season, they could have changed it, but this is what we know at this point and we don't know if they've changed it or not so we'll have to wait and see what plays out this season but from the character description going into this season he went to prison for something that he didn't do and was paid multi-millions like 20 to 25 million dollars in compensation for that but that could have happened in between him just being a member of the scorpions and then being the crime lord so maybe he took the fall for someone else in that group when he was a part of the scorpions and then when he was released and given all that cash from prison, he starts up his own operation, which of course was the one that we saw earlier this season, like episode five, I think it was. But this could be what these flashbacks try to lay out while also telling an Oliver based story on the side or that could be the main focus. And then like the Ricardo Diaz one is on the side as well. That's what I would like to see at least. And I think it makes sense for the most part. Also it's episode 18. This is like the sixth last episode of the season. You would want to revolve around the main villain you would hope. So the Adrian Chase appearance in this episode would then be, you know, fairly short, maybe a five minute scene. If that, they could maybe make it 10 minutes, but if they're doing a lot of these other flashbacks while also doing some other stuff, you would expect maybe a five minute scene, which even though it's short, will still be exciting to see as Josh did an amazing job with the character and everyone appreciates what he brought to the show in season five. Along with Josh Sagara, we could also get some other character cameos, maybe Robert Queen, Maura Queen, maybe even Earth One Laurel, who knows, but anything is possible when you bring in flashbacks, because you can just do a lot with the history of the show. Now, as I said, they did drop some promo images for the 15th episode of this season, which has uh, Roy Harper returning. The episode is called Doppelganger, and I think that more relates to Black Siren, uh, that it relates to Roy. But in these uh, a couple of promo uh, photos, we do see Roy dealing with some cops, looking hurt as if he's been like stabbed or just really badly beaten. But he is actually saved by Thea in her speedy suit. So we're seeing Thea in the speedy suit for the first time since I think episode one of season five. I think that was the last time we saw her in the speedy suit. I might be wrong. Or maybe the crossover last season, maybe she was in the speedy suit. But after that, if you exclude the crossover, I think this is the first episode since the first episode of last season that she's been in the speedy suit. So it's been a while. There is also the one lonely photo of Black Siren in hospital with Quinton. And this is like a public hospital. This isn't like some private, like dodgy thing. This is like a public hospital where she would most likely be admitted under the name of Laurel Lance. Like they would know she's there. So how this works is going to be interesting to find out. And you would think episode 14 might hint at that um but yeah this is very interesting that laurel photo and just seeing thea back in the speedy suit is cool happy to have roy back and um yeah but i will leave a link down in the description below if you want to check out all the promo images because i only put a couple in here the ones that are relevant but thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support let me know in the comments section down below what are your various opinions on these flashbacks the possibility or the what it looks like to be adrian chase coming back to the show and just those promo images as well. Just let me know all of your opinions in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.